This is the E-Glide SS. Had a lot of requests for this bike. I got to visit the kind of the headquarters here in Santa Monica, California and ask a few questions. Sounds like the SS stands for single speed because it is indeed a single speed. We've got a 16 tooth sprocket in the rear and these horizontal dropouts so you can keep that chain nice and tight. And then up there, we've got a 44 tooth chain ring. They can swap it for a 48 tooth chain ring. And those extra four teeth just give you kind of a slower but higher speed cadence. And that's nice, you know, this bike tops out at 20 miles per hour. You've got a trigger throttle variable speed right there. And then you've got a 12 magnet cadence sensor. So it's pretty versatile. Three levels of pedal assist, which you control right here on just this button pad little LEDs in the back, low, medium, high. The throttle overrides any of them and it gives you full power, which is nice. So, you know, you don't have to really worry about, oh, I'm switching, I'm pressing the buttons. You just kind of pick a power level and then go from there. And I love how low is really not too zippy. It's kind of like, it's it's slower. You don't hit the high top speed. It, it doesn't really jerk you forward. In fact, not none of these drive modes do. Medium is a little zippier, you notice it, and high, of course, is, is the zippiest. You're gonna limit your range if you're using the throttle a lot and you're not pedaling or that higher level of assist. But this does have a 36 volt, 10.4 amp hour canister style battery right here. Uh, Samsung cells, pretty kind of average, I'd say, in terms of capacity. And the motor, they told me this is like a hang tie motor, a 350 watt internally geared, real small minimal you can see 13 gauge black spokes and these like mid deep dish rims aluminum the whole frame is aluminum but i was using a magnet turns out the fork is steel now this bike has been available for a while and they sell it um it was like 9.99 but that was with linear pull brakes and that was kind of starting out now they're going to a disc brake up front it's an avid rotor 160 millimeters with a shimano mechanical um, pull action and these interesting DE1 levers that do have motor inhibitors. Uh, one of the other bikes that I was using, the brake lever was pretty tight and so it actually wasn't activating the motor um, inhibitor. I'm going to test that on this one. This is sort of the one they set up just for me and in so doing they put on these nice magnesium Welgo pedals with the set screws. That's not what comes with it. You get uh, plastic, they're about the same size and they have good grip just a little bit cheaper and apparently they do some customization so you could ask them about that or you can get those on amazon for like 20 bucks or something really nice little upgrade i love the riser bar here put some measurements of this and the frame back at the site it actually comes in a couple of different frame styles so you've got a traditional diamond high step right here this is going to be good for improved stiffness and people who are a little bit taller and it's got kind of that more traditional masculine appearance but they also have a, what i call a mid-step where the bar kind of angles down, it slopes a little bit. It only gets you like an inch or two of extra clearance. It's really not up to step through that, you know, with a deep step, uh, but might be kind of nice. And it just d differentiates the styles a little bit. They have this matte black finish, which is really nice. The wires blend in perfectly. Um, but they don't have to blend in that well because they're actually internally routed. A lot of times with more affordably priced electric bikes like this that are using you know, default technology, geared hub motor, 350 watts, you know, 360 watt hour-ish battery pack. It's it's common stuff. And you can see the, the controller's external here. It's not as integrated. They blend in a lot better with a black frame, but they actually look pretty good on the neon kind of metallic green frame too. So it's neat that you have some options here, but that it's still relatively affordably priced. And here's a look at what Dave was calling the drop frame bike. So it's just a little bit lower stand over height, maybe a little bit easier to mount. And then this is the green, kind of a metallic we're gonna, fluorescent. We're, we're gonna be out of these never to, never to come back again. Never to, yeah. so it's like a limited edition. It's gone, they're gone. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's just kind of cool to see up yeah, close. Yeah, I mean, we can always bring it back, but you know, they weren't that popular. People want, everybody wants black. What, what if people want those nice pedals? I've seen a couple of those. They're on the rack over there. We, so that's another upgrade? We put them on a cost. Uh, we're buying them off of Amazon right now and uh, yeah. selling them to the customers for about that. Well, and those, uh, those handlebar extenders, what's the deal with those? What does that uh, do? We have guys six foot four riding these bikes. Basically, you can actually cut it to whatever size you want and dial it in. But it fits here oh. and it brings the handlebar. We, have, we actually have guys six foot four riding these with extenders. 
I thought you were saying, okay, so this like rises the stem. The a little stem, bit. right. And I thought, okay, you can also get grips on your own, like from Ergon. They've got the little bull horns at the end. I thought that was like going to make it longer. Or we, something. we actually got a universal uh, adapter here that you can fit it anywhere you want. And we, we installed a couple of those. Oh, for like guys. the, oops, sorry, adjustable angle mm -hmm. one that kind of, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Just a lot of customization. Yeah, I mean, it's nice that you help people with that, man. Like that you set it up a little bit so that they don't necessarily have to do that. Yeah, we, that's what we do. We customize each bike. That's we do. Uh, and usually they call the email. They ask us if we can do this, if we can do that. Mm -hmm. And um, and we do it. Yeah, yeah. sure. Good on you. Yeah, <laughs> we love it. Thanks. People, the people really, they really dig that. So as I was saying before, they used to only have these Pro Max linear pull brakes, but now they've added this 160 millimeter Shimano brake, and it does help you a lot, and it just it feels nice. Um, I'm going to hop on this thing and just get a little bit of action going. You can see that in addition to the really basic LED display panel right there, there's a bicycle computer, and you can see the miles per hour ticking up. We're accelerating. I'm juicing it now. This is like full power on the throttle. Going, going. It's not especially windy. We're up to 20 miles per hour and it's just hovering right around that 19.5, 20 miles per hour. Um, I feel like it, it delivers what they promised. You know, it's, it's an electric bike. It's kind of generic in terms of some of the parts, but where they've chosen to upgrade them, you do have nicer touch points. The ergonomic grips, they aren't locking, but I love that the bar is is a riser bar because I'm not leaning super far forward. I feel relatively comfortable. This is a taller bike. I was measuring the seat tube down here and it's about 21 inches. Um, you know, you do have to kind of swing your foot over. There's no bottle cage on this, like bosses for adding that and there really isn't room well i should take that back there are bottle cage bosses right there and they're covered up by that controller box there's unfortunately no rear rack bosses along these seat stays but you could add one sort of the toe peak beam rack that they sell it kind of sticks off the back the problem with those is that they get bumped pretty easily and then they're misaligned so check this out it sounds like could people do this on the 2017 version they can add this rack because you were saying yeah. you tap right there near where the dropouts are, and then you've got a special I even, collar I, I, I that... Have, I even have a picture of where we do it and all that. Look but... at that, and a front basket. And so is it one, how much is it for like just the rear rack? If 55 you wanted? for the rear rack, 40 for the front basket. That is so cool, man. <laughs> that, like, because I was commenting in the review that like, oh, there's no bosses. But when you think about it, the linear pull brake in the back it, and the, just how narrow these are, because this is more of a city. The, the new frame will have them here. Yeah, right in here? Yeah, right in there somewhere. That's awesome. We'll attach right here. Well, thanks for clarifying. Like, you know, occasionally I cut in and out. I make mistakes myself, but we've been talking about this bike like all afternoon and I've been learning more and more and you're just so accommodating. I wanted, I didn't want to miss this. I wanted to show the picture and sure, man. yeah, so thank you. Thank you for it. I'm just going to stand this up a little bit. Whoop. There we go. Let me talk about some more of these features. So as I was saying before, like the colors kind of play into the overall look of this bike. When you step back a little bit, you notice something's different. The, the battery is a little bit larger, but it's nice that it has those lithium cells. I also like that they, they kind of upgraded for the tires. We've got Schwabi Marathon Plus with Performance Line Smart Guard. So they've got kind of a Kevlar lining that's supposed to protect your, keep them from getting punctured and stuff. These are 28 by 1.25. So this is very much like a, a hybrid city uh, type of tire. It's not gonna absorb as much shock the steel fork does help with vibration dampening a little bit but this is a more active bike this is the kind of bike that you want to be on smooth streets because over time you start to feel it in your back and neck bouncing around with that the weight of my helmet always bothers me a little bit but again you got the padded grips and if you upgrade to the plus model um, you get this cellar royale uh, kind of a gel saddle it feels pretty good and they have a male and female specific saddle um, you know, th those are some of the upgrades. So let's talk about price again. A minute ago, I said that initially this was like $9.99. Now with the disc brake, they're selling it for like $10.99. And if you want the plus model with like some of those extra little features and the saddle and stuff, it's going to cost another $100. And so it feels like they're tweaking their model a little bit. And I love the reflective sidewalls on the tires for visibility because otherwise you're on a, a black bike that blends in. There are no lights or anything like that. It's it's fairly minimal. And then coming back to comfort, some of the considerations I think I'd make uh, if I were buying this and using it for commuting or even just for pleasure is 
to replace that seat post with like a thud buster or a body float. This is 27.2 millimeter diameter, really easy to find, very common size, and it's just gonna take the edge off. So you're a little bit more upright, You've got that steel fork, you got the suspension, you know, seat post, and, and then this would be this would be a fun bike to cruise around, you know, that you don't have to worry about a derailleur, you don't have to worry about all these extra gears. You don't get the choice of pedal cadence as much, but you have a trigger throttle. So starting isn't really that difficult. It's not like the most powerful motor, it's only a 350 watt. And my experience is kind of like a smoother transition. It doesn't feel like it's more like kind of a rise love that they've got those 12 magnets in the cadence sensor so that it's a little bit more responsive to start and stop but this is just this is technology that's a little bit more affordable keep in mind that if the bike tips you know you've got the wire coming out the axle for powering that that hub motor and you don't want that thing to get snagged or bent or broken because then your motor won't work and i think they do offer replacements and stuff like that they've got a one-year comprehensive warranty a 30-day like money-back guarantee sort of situation going on and you know dave lorelei the, the founder of this company they make these awesome skateboards and stuff too they've been in the business for like 13 years since like 2002 or 2003 so they've been around for a while and he's he's a smart guy hard working really friendly outgoing um and i feel like they've they're doing that like iterative improvements i do like that there's a quick release on the front wheel it just makes doing maintenance a little easier but if you live somewhere where you're chaining this to a pole or whatever you might want to replace that with like some locking nuts or something so people don't steal it same thing with your with your seat post and the saddle but um i guess that's kind of that's like one of the trade-offs like a bike like this you're trading a little bit of comfort but you're getting a lot of durability you're trading a little bit of uh style and power and whatever but you're you're getting something that's cheaper so you can ride this to work and not worry about it getting banged up or stolen or what you know it's like it's only a thousand dollars compared to a lot of electric bikes that are at least 1500 and they've done a good job adding these little touch points with like the this is a removable bicycle computer and it shows the time and trip time max speed average speed odometer uh, it's it's nice to have they didn't have to do that and and they did and i think it looks pretty nice so i guess that's kind of it I'm, i might hop on one more time and just accelerate from zero so you can get a feel for that motor um dave was really excited he's like yeah our motor's really zippy and it's awesome for what it is and i'm like you know it's kind of a 350 watt hub motor it's smooth i've tried eight fun before and I almost wonder, it's like they're pretty comparable, but sometimes I felt like a little bit zippier, but then that drains your battery quicker too. So I don't know, I'll let you be the judge. I'm just gonna do that trigger throttle from zero. I'm only 135 pounds too, keep that in mind. Hey, we're up to 14 miles per hour, 15, and I gotta stop because I'm coming to the end of the street here. We're in a full battery right now, too. I have been riding this around a little bit, uh, but I feel like this is a pretty fair test, and I'm not like overwhelmed at the power or speed. I just think it's nice. You know, there's nowhere to climb hills around here to really test that part of it out. But if you're using pedal assist, you know, you pedal, kicks in pretty quick. Cuts out. It's a cadence sensor, so it's not like the world's fastest, most responsive thing. And now that we've got all kinds of fancy stuff from Bosch and Bros and stuff, it's a little bit underwhelming from that perspective, but those start at like at least $3,500. So again, for what it is, it's pretty cool. And the company culture with the refund and, well, you know, year-long warranty and stuff that's something that you don't get from like saunders or some of these other companies where it's just like hey you got a cheap price good luck these guys actually support the product i like what they're doing and, and i appreciate this option keep comfort in mind and all that but note that they they receive these they unbox them and they can check them and and then they modify them if you get the plus version and they ship them out so it's it's definitely a step up in terms of service here and that's what i really appreciate 
And then this is the charger that comes with it. It's about a pound and a half, it's two amps. You know, pretty standard, and I love that you can unplug the wall side. And just the fact that the battery is removable, that's gonna reduce the weight of the bike significantly if you're hanging it on a rack or whatever. It makes it a lot easier to charge. But it's a two-step on-off process. Make sure you click below the battery, and then you click up here. So yeah, there you go, a little bit of a close-up on those. So for the other measurements like reach and standover height and stuff, uh, you can head back to electricbikereview.com. And of course, as always, especially with the black bike and stuff, ride safe. Like I love those reflective sidewalls, but I know you're gonna be riding in the city probably. Um, so just, you know, take it easy out there. Cheers.